Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, wealthspinning.blogspot.com, a free site. Today is January the 8th, 2021. Let me just talk about what I'm doing, what I'm looking at this morning in terms of investments. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online and not investment advice. Again, I'm just sharing what has caught my eye. I want everyone watching this video to think for themselves to do their own research. Now, in an earlier video, recent video, I talked about how I wanted Bitcoin exposure with some companies where I could just invest in the company and didn't have to worry about maintaining a Bitcoin wallet, right? I have a Bitcoin wallet, but you also want investments where people are mining Bitcoin, doing other things, right? Getting you money from Bitcoin's appreciation without you having to deal with a secure wallet, etc. So I talked about Riot Blockchain and Riot Blockchain since that video's up big. I talked about HUT8 Mining and since that video, HUT8 Mining is up big, right? I would encourage folks to look at that older video. <clears throat> well, understand there are companies out there now involved in allowing users to transact in Bitcoin. PayPal, for example, $282 billion market cap, right? Square, for example, $108 billion market cap. And of course, I'm looking for banks that don't have big overhead that can mimic the successful models of PayPal and Square, right? We understand that it'll take a while to get the network together, right? PayPal, after all, has hundreds of millions of participants. But I was looking for a Bitcoin savvy group with a bank that had a highly rated app on Google Store with many of the features of PayPal, which has been successful, and Square, which has been successful. So, of course, Chamath Palapatia, a billionaire who has, according to folklore, over a hundred thousand. Bitcoin. Do the math. As I make this video, Bitcoin is north of $40,000 per Bitcoin. Right? Chamath has over 100,000 Bitcoin. Not $100,000 in Bitcoin. Right? That would just be two and a half Bitcoin. No, he has 100,000 plus Bitcoin. He was an early adopter. He bought Bitcoin very early. And understand, he's a major player, right? He's part owner, for example, of the Golden State Warriors. Well, understand, Chamath has what's called a special purpose acquisition company, a SPAC. He has a few of them, but we're talking about one in particular that can be found on Robinhood, right? The symbol is IPOE. Again, the symbol on Robinhood is IPOE, right? You don't have to use Robinhood. You could look it up yourself. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, right? It's a social capital SPAC. Now understand, Chamath already is one of the major shareholders of Virgin Galactic, which he merged with using a SPAC, right? He's been involved in the world of SPACs 
because it allows him more flexibility than just providing seed capital for a company earlier on. Right here with a SPAC, where you set up the SPAC and then you merge with your target company. And it's a friendly merger. It's not a hostile takeover. The company that you're merging with has been around for years. They have books that you can study. You can talk with management. You can find out all about the company. You could work out the seats you're going to have on the board, the corporate structure, after the merger. So what I want people to realize is right now, Chamath's SPAC, the symbol is IPOE, is merging with SoFi. And the merger, which you could get a part of by buying into IPOE now, would value the company not at $282 billion, which is the market cap of PayPal, or $108 billion, which is the market cap of Square. Now here, you would have a company with a Bitcoin experienced owner in the financial space at a valuation of $8.65 billion, right? This is less than a tenth of the market cap of Square, right? Less than a tenth of the market cap of Square. Now, let me just say, as part of my due diligence, I downloaded the SoFi app, right? Understand, SoFi is already high profile. If you follow the Los Angeles Rams, you know that their brand new stadium is named after SoFi, right? They bought the naming rights. This is while the company was private. So when you watch Ram games, you're gonna hear about SoFi. Right, the Chargers also play in the stadium. Well, let's just put it this way. The app is highly rated on Google Play Store by users. It's highly rated. You go through the app and it's very similar to Square in terms of ease of use. Right, you can do a lot of things with the app, and I notice the app also is kind of like a well-versed financial friend. You could tell that SoFi's target market aren't older people like me, it's really younger people, millennials, Generation Z. And you'll notice the app currently, this is before Chamath, who has over 100,000 Bitcoin, according to folklore, right, has taken over the company. The app already allows cryptocurrency trading. Understand too, SoFi doesn't have the malinvestment, we'll call it. The investment in downtown corporate offices, the overhead, that many legacy finance banks have. So here I get to participate in digital asset markets. I also get to do traditional banking on a level, in my opinion, that's on par with Square and PayPal and Venmo, another private company you wanna keep an eye on if you're interested in this space. If you feel that there's gonna be a complete transition or even just a meaningful transition to the use of digital assets for payment, right? So just to understand, SoFi already has the app. 
SoFi is getting very adept and knowledgeable crypto holding ownership and of course the best part with a market cap of less than a tenth of the market cap of Square SoFi after the merger would have 2.4 billion dollars on the books in other words 25 percent of its market cap the company would have in cash right now I can't give investment advice for legal reasons here online I'm just another investor I'm certainly not an expert I'm serious when I say you need to think for yourself. Right? Let me point out too that the social capital SPAC involved with this merger, and you have to know which one. Right? Because there are a few social capital SPACs out there. This is Chamath's way of merging with companies. Right? It's better than an initial public offering because you're able to do research then jump in the pool all at once and have the company be publicly listed right but let's just say if you believe the world of finance is changing if you like the idea of a company that already has a name out there that already has name recognition that has savvy management right now. Anthony Dodo is one of the head honchos of the company right now. And that's about to add Chamath to the ownership ranks at a price that's less than a tenth of square. Right? That's less than one twentieth of PayPal then for me, this is a deal to consider. Now I've dipped my toe in the water. I picked up some of Chamath's SPAC. Again, its symbol is IPOE. Understand it's available right now on Robinhood.com as well as other exchanges. It's publicly traded. <laughs> Understand, you buy the SPAC, you don't have to do anything else. Right? Once the merger takes place, you'll own a share of SoFi, a lean company without heavy overhead, with cash reserves, very affordably priced. I like this deal. I'm just speaking for myself. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I have my toe in the water. This way, when I pull up my portfolio, I can keep an eye on it. Right? If it starts to rise, my investment is going to rise. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there's a deal you're involved in that you want to share with the YouTube community, or if there are aspects of this deal, positive or negative, that you think the YouTube community should know about, then I hope you leave those comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.